선생님. 저랑 게임 한번 하시겠습니까? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the greatest Korean shows on Netflix that you simply cannot skip out on. 올땐 죽을 만큼 힘들었는데 와보니 재밌긴 하네. Number 20. Business Proposal. 나에 대해 알게 해 줄게요. 알고 보면 나 장점 많은 사람입니다. 그리고 다방면으로 잘합니다. In the mood for some good old romantic comedy that's both low stakes and easy on the eyes, this K-drama is the one for you. Because sometimes all we need is a light-hearted fairy tale to restore our faith in love. 진짜요? 진짜로 제가 마음에 드세요? 우 그럼 우리 룸 잡을까요? From an awkward CEO protagonist to contract marriage, and even hidden identities, you'll find all your favorite tropes in one place. As a bonus, it has not just one but two adorable couples, a healthy dose of bromance, and a female friendship that will have you hitting up your bestie to binge watch the show together. Number 19, My Liberation Notes. This one's for all the lost souls hoping to find some meaning in life. So, yeah, pretty much all of us. Kim Ji-won, Lee Ming-gi, and Lee L play siblings whose mundane lives are shaken up by the sudden appearance of a mysterious stranger. Praised for its depictions of realistic day-to-day -day lives, the series' big theme about freedom really hits home. Huh? 어느 날은 좀된것 같고 어느 날은 도로함이 타버리지만 그래도 아예 없다고는 못 하는데. The monologues feel like a soothing balm to a broken heart, and practically every scene is quote-worthy. Unexpectedly, this K-drama also features an irresistible romance that will no doubt raise your standards. 네가 눈앞에 보이면 긴장해. 그래서 병신같아서 짜증나. 짜증나는데 자꾸 기다려. Number 18, Little Women. 내가 경찰에 거짓말하지 않으면 누군가에게 문제가 생기는 건가요? 민주 씨님이 문제가 생겼어요. This K-drama supports women's rights, but more importantly, women's wrongs. Think of it as the psychological thriller version of Louisa May Alcott's novel of the same name, and you have a good starting point. It then spirals into a never-ending vortex of chaos as one woman takes on the world for her family. <laughs> Rich antics abound, and it gets more and more unhinged with every episode. This show is also proof that couples with no hope for romance always end up with the most electric chemistry in K-dramas. Kim go on and we had Jun, we're looking at you. Number 17, Alchemy of Souls. Arguably the first high fantasy show to come out of South Korea, Alchemy of Souls is in a league of its own. It follows Naksu, a powerful sorceress trapped in the body of a woman who is blind, and Changuk, her amateur student destined for greatness. <laughs> the world building is larger than life, the power system complex enough to be interesting but not confusing. The theme of star-crossed lovers also runs through the epic, serving equal parts butterflies and tears. There are enough twists and turns to keep you guessing, and just between you and us, the ending is totally worth it. Number 16, Stranger. Peiru Na and Cho Sung Woo lead this underappreciated gem of a crime thriller that definitely deserves more attention. An apathetic yet upright prosecutor meets a passionate detective, and the intellectual sparks fly. Number 17, 
Their bond is forged by a shared goal of rooting out corruption, and boy do they make it look cool. Stranger is the complete package. Murder mystery? Check. Political intrigue? Spot on. Layered characters that you'll get way too attached to? You got it. <laughs> No wonder it was featured on a New York Times list of best TV shows. If you can't get enough of this series, check out the spin-off, Tonghe, The Good or the Bastard. Number 15, True Beauty. If you've watched this K-drama more times than you can count because it's your comfort show, welcome to the club. If not, it's about time you joined us. True Beauty is a true delight, like your favorite dessert after a long day. With this, you get what you see. A young high school girl, played by Moon Ga Young, struggles with her appearance, and over the course of the show, comes to realize that beauty is on the inside. The real transformation doesn't happen with makeup, but with the confidence she gets thanks to her friends and, of course, Chan Wu as Li Suo. The cherry on top is the dreamy Huang Yin Yup, ready to give you a serious case of second lead syndrome. Number 14, Signal. There's just one word to describe this inter timeline detective drama timeless. Helmed by a trio of acting powerhouses, Cho ching un Kim Hae-su, and Yi Jae-hun, Signal is one of those shows that turns you into a true blue K-drama fan. Viewers join the lead characters on a riveting journey as they fight crime across time. To keep it brief, Cho's character exists in the 90s, while Kim and Lee play detectives in 2015. The only thing connecting them is a strange walkie-talkie and the will to solve a murder. If you enjoy true crime stories or consider yourself a cold case connoisseur, tune in and you will find yourself hooked in no time. Number 13, Vincenzo. This crime dramedy begins with a bang. However, it quickly changes gears into slapstick comedy and courtroom drama. These tonal shifts can be jarring, but once the show settles into a rhythm, it's hard to tear yourself away. After the death of his boss, Mafia Consigliere Vincenzo, played by Hal Yu heartthrob Song Jun Gi, returns to Seoul to recover gold stashed underneath a plaza. Unexpectedly, he finds himself joining forces with the plaza's tenants and a ruthless attorney against a corrupt company that wants the building. Vincenzo's enemies soon learn that he fights fire with fire. If you're expecting a realistic, grounded depiction of the mafia or lawyers, this is not it. But Vincenzo's 20 episodes offer drama a plenty to keep you hooked. <laughs> Number 12, Prison Playbook. 자, 이 종이 위에 너의 유년기부터 지금까지 인생 그래프를 그려보렴. 그리고 현재 너의 위치를 정확하게 한번 표시해봐. Undeniably the most wholesome show about arguably the most unwholesome topic, this one will keep you coming back for more. When a baseball star is incarcerated for assaulting his sister's attacker, he finds camaraderie in his fellow inmates. 
By revealing the ins and outs of the prison system, it humanizes the convicts. But don't mistake this K-drama for all sunshine and roses. 아직 멀었어. 음, 현재 내 위치는 이것보다 더 바닥이야. While it does have a unique sense of humor, it also makes it a point to tackle important issues. So you'll either bust a gut from laughing too hard, or you'll be sniffling into your t-shirt because it hurts so bad. Whatever it may be, it is worth every second of your time. 지금은 이 방에서 내가 제일 무섭지? Number 11. My Name. This dark revenge thriller is as suspenseful as it is satisfying. After Yoon Ji Woo witnesses the murder of her gangster father, she joins his old gang, hoping to toughen up and track down the killer. When she's ordered to infiltrate the police, it affords her opportunities to investigate, but also leads to a complicated double life. Actress Han So Hee gives an intense and physical performance that carries the show. With brilliant twists and thrilling fight scenes packed into its eight episodes, My Name is a gritty crime drama that needs to be binged. <laughs> Number 10. Daily Dose of Sunshine. If we were to show you a random clip from this show, you'd think it was a fantasy series. In reality, the top-tier CGI and abstract cinematography are visualizations of how certain mental health conditions can feel. It is brilliantly done, to say the least. Daily Dose of Sunshine follows an empathetic nurse, played by the incredible Park Bo Young, who is transferred to a psychiatric ward. Struggling to adjust to the new environment, she grapples with her own mental health, unable to distance herself from her patients. Watching her grow, overcome adversities, and find love will leave you feeling like a proud parent. Number 9. Sweet Home Despite the slew of apocalyptic horror series around, Sweet Home still manages to stand out. Another webtoon adaptation, it follows a band of survivors in a rundown apartment complex beset by monsters. <laughs> the main focus is depressed high school student Cha Hyun Soo, who, after a tragic accident, planned to end his own life. At its best, Sweet Home is gory, effects-filled fun that keeps you wondering who will die next. The monsters steal the show, each one unique in its own special way. However, through its large cast of flawed characters, the series also reflects on our own dark and monstrous desires. All in all, it's a thrilling ride through the end times. <laughs> Number 8. All of us are dead. High school can be hell. Fortunately, though, we don't remember it quite like this. This webtoon adaptation sees a zombie outbreak turn an ordinary high school into ground zero. In the ensuing chaos, the survivors must team up and rely on their wits to avoid falling prey to former classmates. Foremost among the sprawling cast are childhood friends Ong Cho and Chung Sen. Full of nail-biting suspense and bloody mayhem, All of Us Are Dead is built around creative set pieces and smart, relatable characters. Amid the carnage, it also manages to squeeze in social commentary about bullying, as well as memorable moments of camaraderie between the survivors. While there are some repetitive moments across its 12 episodes, it is an absolute must-watch for fans of the genre. Number 7. DP. Thank you. 
everything you could possibly need in an action drama is packed into this roller coaster ride. Per the show's title, it's about the Deserter Pursuit, aka the DP team in the South Korean military. They find deserters and bring them back, but our main characters, played by Chung Hae In and Koo Kyu Hwan, often find their emotions getting in the way. While the first season is a gritty adventure with a dash of comedy, the second leans far more philosophical. Darker secrets are exposed, and the rotten core reveals itself. You better believe it will leave you hankering for a third season. Number 6. Crash Landing on You This one's for the rom-com fans! It's easy to get swept up in Crash Landing on You's tale of forbidden love. When South Korean heiress and businesswoman Yoon Se-ri crashes her paraglider in North Korea, she finds herself falling for the taciturn Captain Ri Jung-hyuk. The problem, of course, is the long-standing conflict between their two countries. Screenwriter Park jae yeon worked with defector Gwag moon won to pen the dramedy, which offers a surprisingly thoughtful look at life in North Korea. Just as entertaining as the leads are Captain Ri's soldier buddies. The runtimes of its 16 episodes might seem a little long for binge watching, but once the show draws you in, you will fly through them. Number 5. Itaewon Class Based on the beloved webtoon of the same name, Itaewon Class follows ex-convict Pok se Roi and the social outcasts he brings together to open a street bar in Seoul's colorful Itaewon district. Seiro Yi hopes to start a franchise to defeat a local food company, whose CEO's son caused his father's death. <laughs> but while this revenge plot provides the premise, Itaewon Class is first and foremost about its diverse cast of characters, who must learn to work together and accept their differences. <laughs> Their friendship buoys the series, making its 16 episodes a breeze to binge. Number 4. Extraordinary Attorney Woo Park Eun-bin's magnum opus is a commendable representation of individuals on the autism spectrum. It's been argued that while it's not perfect, it has done more for the portrayal of autism in mainstream Korean media than any other piece of media. Through her character and those around her, Park highlights issues faced by the community, particularly in the context of South Korean society. The crowning achievement is the romance between our heroine and the walking green flag, Lee Jun-ho, played by Kang Tae-ho. Sweeter than cotton candy and dreamier than Kang himself, this couple will have you squealing into your pillow. <laughs> Number 3. The Glory if Slay Your Enemies were a K-drama, you'd get this breathless Song Hye-kyo fronted thriller. The actress plays Moon Dong-un, a victim of brutal school violence who returns years later with a roadmap for revenge. But Jae-soon, you don't know the world. The world. This queen has no time for criminal justice. She takes matters into her own hands. Dong Eun doesn't just wake up and choose violence. She lights the world on fire and watches it burn. Part of what makes her such a fantastic main character, though, is the villainous she goes up against. Park Yun Jin, played by Lim Ji Eun, is a force of nature delectably evil and a downright baddie. 
literally. With an 11 on 10 satisfaction score, this K-drama will have you hooked. Number 2. Kingdom. Netflix's first original Korean series is also one of the best. Based on the webtoon The Kingdom of the Gods, this period horror series combines political intrigue with zombie carnage. The story follows Crown Prince Lee Chang as he investigates a deadly plague and struggles to survive the machinations of his rivals. It's a unique blend of genres that expertly balances its horror and political elements, while telling a gripping story built around memorable characters. With just six episodes per season, it is eminently bingeable. If you're hungry for more, there's also a 90-minute side quill, Ashen of the North. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Move to Heaven. Your tear ducts will be begging for a break. Mask Girl. The female rage here will have you raving. Don't touch it. Okay? Okay, okay. The Sound of Magic. Because sometimes a healing musical can, in fact, solve all our problems. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Squid Game <laughs> This survival thriller took the world by storm, captivating audiences with its visceral spectacle, compelling drama, and sharp social commentary. The premise is simple enough. In a secret facility, 456 players in dire financial straits compete for a cash prize. The macabre twist is that the competition consists of popular children's games with fatal consequences for the losers. Squid Game nails the human drama with well-written characters and all the alliances and betrayals the premise suggests. It also works in timely themes about class struggle and capitalism. That was in the report. <laughs> How did I miss that? Yeah, I didn't catch it either. Well. That's no fun. Yep, number 13 definitely sees something that the others can't. With a first season of just nine episodes, it is quite easily the most bingeable K-drama on Netflix. Which of these shows would you recommend to a friend? Let us know in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.